Hello and how goes it? I'm Andrew, DM of the Dirty Rollers, and this is our Mud Butts Goblin campaign. Woo! Whoa, <laughs> God! <laughs> yep, that's a buckle tick. We missed him. It's been a minute since we recorded because we had a little yeah. bit of time off there. Yeah, we're back, and now we all have to remember what we're doing and how to do it. So, yeah. Uh, in just a minute, I will introduce all the. Uh, Everyone you see down here, the players and then their characters. Um, but real quick, before we get started, I um, have to do a little little uh, housekeeping for notes and things and links and all that good stuff. So first and foremost, um, there are links down below for our uh, Twitch channel, which you should go follow us if you're not already. And make sure you, you keep up on uh, uh, the notifications there for our Dungeon Alchemist map making streams. Uh, we've also had an ongoing Solasta campaign on there. Um, on two, three of us are on Xbox, and one of us uh, on the computer. And going through playing that, that's a ton of fun, even with all the bugs and things. Um, what? Loud noise. Anyways, uh, there's links for the, uh, the store on, on Society Six where you can get some merch, or uh, yeah, merch for goblins, dirty rollers. Um, stickers, hoodies, t-shirts, blankets, mugs, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Um, I'm wearing a shirt right now. Repping in the dirty roller. Um, and then over uh, on our YouTube, on the, the other channels, we have our Rhyme of the Frost Maiden campaign videos up alongside the, the playlist for the goblins here. And go and check out the playlist for all those if you've uh, if you've been keeping up with it, then you already know where it's at. But if you're new, um, the playlist should have everything in order. You can start from the beginning with the character introduction and uh, uh, all the like backgrounds and stuff for the characters. So you know who's who. But and then no, that's not it. There's a uh, on Twitch. You you also want to keep following us so you don't miss out on our launch whenever that is of our uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight campaign. It'll be our first stream campaign. Super looking forward to it. Nervous, excited. Um, I've seen behind the scenes how, how nice everything looks. The art is all fantastic from the overlays and character arts and reactive images. I'm super excited to get going with it. Um, but make sure you go and follow us on there now so you don't miss it when it goes live. I think that's it. You guys, uh, I think I missed anything. That sound good? I don't think so. I think that's it. Sounds good. Cool. Sounds good. And we'll go ahead and introduce everybody. First off, we have James. Who are you playing? I am James, and I play Buckle Tick the Shallow. I am a goblin warlock whose patron is the great old one, Nothranen. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, next, we got Chrissy. Who are you playing? I play Mostella Stinkta, the Badger Druid. Uh, she's Circle of the Moon. And she has a little badger brother named Precious. Oh, Precious. Melissa, who discussed My everyone Melissa. with their stories earlier. What? <laughs> her butt cheek story. The butt cheeks. <laughs> My name is <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> and I play Iris Fart Gargle. She is a monk. Uh, way of the astral self. There you go. <laughs> Good recovery. <laughs> uh, then we got Jacob. Who are you playing? I'm playing Sharto, the Gloomstalker. Well. And Rogue. <laughs> Super cute. Uh, Matthew? One of the playing? best death machines ever. <laughs> My name is Matthew. I play Nick Nick. I am the thiefy rogue of the group. I have everyone else's fixes up his now. Arr, frustrating. Okay. Um, and Garo, what's a squeeb? Squeeb! Uh, I play Squeeb, a tiny, tiny goblin battlesmith artificer who rides upon a clockwork rooster named Bakhtar. Everybody sounds like he gets smaller and smaller every time you introduce him. <laughs> tiny, 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 tiny. Nick so small. So small. We got the pixelated thing going on with Nick Nick's art still. I had it fixed on everyone else's. His didn't, but I also see I uploaded the wrong one. As all or she has all of her fingers there. I'll get the <laughs> I'll get the right art uploaded. We, we figured out what that mouth adds to. Okay. Uh so last time on uh, what's 
Um, you see this wagon here? Mud butts have this wagon packed full of warg puppies. W O R G puppies. Um, babies. Which they've kind of adopted slash kidnapped and fed. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yes, they did not have a mother anymore. Yeah, the mom was being uh, held captive and presumably was going to be traded or killed by uh, Ragnan, the knoll hunter, the hyena partner, um, Yark. I think because we were talking about Yark sound effect. We killed him. Yark, yeah, Yark. They're both dead. Uh, uh, Ragnan and Yark are both dead now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the party went and found the uh, the Mama Wargs puppies and decided that they were going to take care of them and look after them. So they now have a wagon full of puppies. They are eating the bodies of things that the goblins have killed. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's how they are uh, keeping the, the Warg puppies fed. Um, and yeah, yeah, last session, they were traveling along the road to try to find their, their I don't, don't want to say missing, but their, their friend, um, God. Sticks. Sticks. <laughs> you tell it's been a minute. Their missing friend sticks who went on ahead, uh, left Puddlestrom early ahead of the group and going to find the swift stab hideout, which sticks used to be a part of. And uh, she said there was something a little off about him. She didn't want to be there anymore. She was, she was used to fighting and battles and um, the information that she passed on to the mud butts. You guys uh, was that they kind of seem like they're not fighting as much. Like something happened and they're, they're trying to like settle down and start a, a community and oh, Styx wasn't horrible. really all about that. She was the adventure and raid and punch things with her spiky armor. Um, yeah. So yeah, she was uh, leading you guys back to the Swift Stabs and she got impatient and left a little early. Uh, so you guys are on your way to find him or her and uh, on the way on the road here, you came across this um, pass on the road where there rise on either side. Um, you went to cross paths with uh, another wagon that was going the opposite direction and they're a little a little leery of you guys um but maybe because shardo wasn't there at the time the the talks went all right you guys were you know pretty cordial with them and and okay that's why i think sometimes this this is going away from an evil campaign to a chaotic neutral only campaign because normally we'll i would think that. you guys would have slaughtered everyone <laughs> and walked away but yeah, no i just I just got a bracelet of fireballs, Andy. I don't yeah. know if that's going to go nice. Oh, they, they're long gone now. <laughs> they're... Oh, no, I mean in the future, where we're going. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, speaking of the bracelet of fireballs, um, after the goblins helped uh, defend this caravan, um, I say caravan, but it was really just like one big armored wagon, um, had a contingent of guards and scouts, um, you guys helped defend the wagon from the bandits that were up here trying to raid them. And uh turns out they were thankful and were willing to deal and negotiate with you guys. Um, Buckle Tick picked up a little bit of information from the, the drow mage that was leading the, the wagon here. Um, picked up little tidbits about the patron and some of the like lore of where he came from and um Maybe how long he's been here, things like that. Um, Estella was able to bargain for a diamond that was yeah worth three hundred gold pieces because of reasons. Mm. So I think Mastella's planning on things or planning to stop other things from happening. Um, <laughs> what would that be, Angie? Uh, <laughs> no. no, no, go away. And no. uh, Squeeb oh, negotiated. God, <laughs> A squeeb negotiated for a bracelet of fireballs. Uh, it's a, a bracelet that can cast a uh, fireball up to three times before it's all spent. Um, Ooh, yeah. But the cost was kind of high for those items. They traded away a handful of the spirit shards that they've uh, collected from some of the tougher enemies. They've um, so that might have a negative drawback later. A negative drawback? A drawback later on. Like that was the whole uh, positive length for your longevity thing. <laughs> um, yeah. might have a drawback later on <laughs> um, but yeah that's where we left off the, uh, the, ca the caravan that you guys helped out the wagon and all their horses have moved on um, you guys I can't remember if you took a short rest or what you did long rest probably. I feel like we did take a rest right 
I mean, I imagine I, you. I thought we were just kind of packing up afterwards. Okay. Or, yeah, I don't think we rested yet. Did we not? Hmm. Um, but you know, I'll give you guys a long rest uh, while you travel, because I uh, I re-imported some of your characters, so <clears throat> um, you need those changes to take effect. Go ahead, you guys. Can Actually, have a long does rest. it? Does it say in Foundry if you've recently taken a long? Oh no, I have not because I see I still ha- I use hit dice or something at some point. Yeah, yeah. So we could take a long rest then. No. Yeah. Long yeah. Rest. <laughs> no. <laughs> long rest. Long rest. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can Stuck can all uh, hit the, the long rest button. Take your long rest. Cover your spell slots. Hit dice. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna get going straight from there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! What? Yeah. How about average sounds for for Goblin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To all of our viewers yeah. out there, I know I rolled dice for Pooper, but I think I'm going to change it to Corn Chip. <laughs> Thank you for my announcement, <laughs> viewers. That was the most robotic sound I've ever heard you make. It's slightly disturbing. <laughs> they need to know the context. Uh, that's the name of your warg pup, right? Well, if they saw the last episode. Oh, well, no, assume not everybody did. But she's changing the name. My of apologies, her warg pup. viewers. I previously rolled for my warg to have the name Pooper, <laughs> but I am changing it to Corn Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. I just like that the goblins know what a corn chip is. <laughs> <laughs> I do not ever want to experience a goblin corn chip. <laughs> oh, hey, there, there's a way that that might happen later on. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Wait to find out. Secret secrets. We got goblin <laughs> hot pockets already, so we yeah. will make goblin corn chips. I think I know how they're made, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you guys are. Uh, after your your long rest, you're here on this this pass here. Uh, continue on. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, you on through the next day, whole day, whole night. Um, oh, yeah. Indeed. I didn't. I hold on. Let me take a look at my inventory because there's something about the cursed idol. I didn't get to use it. Oh yeah. One second. Uh, otherworldly. Oh, no. I have a ten. I have. I have a ten percent chance each day at dusk of taking two d four psychic damage and becoming nice. incapacitated for by fear for one minute, as terrifying otherworldly whispers fill my mind. Oh so, my! Oh, you can roll for it. Time. Um, but it, it's not gonna. Yeah. Won't have a huge effect right now. Let's go ahead and roll. No, I know, but I figured it might be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Forty-one. Okay. Yeah, cool, we're gonna cool. we're gonna go ten or less and uh, happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you guys uh, travel on whole whole day, whole night. See critters here and there. Um, nobody else on the road really. Go through a stretch where everything looks kind of dead and uh, just barren a little ways. Then towards the end of the night, you can see that the trees start picking up a little more dense. Uh, you can hear the, the songs of uh, the night birds and the, the intermingling of day birds, night birds. Um, sunset goes. Um, you guys want to keep traveling through the dark or pull over, have another. Rest? How how many days uh, did Sticks say it would be from uh, Puddlestrom to where her people were? I believe it was like two to three days. Oh wow. Well. Mm. Mm. Were there any purple plants on the sides of the road as we go? It's funny that you say purple plants. Because oh. they have a name now. Oh. <laughs> and if uh, if anybody anybody that watches the videos um, knows what the name is from, uh, tag me in the response and tell me what it is in the, in the comments below. And you might get a, a, a pat on the back prize. A pat on the back, right? Yeah, <laughs> a digital pat on the back. Um, Violet no. Gazai. Violet Gazai. 
anybody knows what Gazai is from, go ahead and, and tag us in a comment. And uh, Sounds like gas. <laughs> but that's what your purple plants are called. You can keep calling them purple plants. But I, I figured they needed um, e. uh, why, don't you, why don't you roll for it? Somewhere else. Perception? Perception or nature? I don't do nature here. What? I'll do nature. <laughs> oh, it was almost a seven card! But it wasn't. So no, there's no purple plants. <sighs> oh, no violence. There are still I? purple plants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys want to go through the night or do you guys want to camp out and wait for morning? Uh, we've been traveling all day, right? Yep. It's, if we keep pushing it, we'll probably get exhaustion. Okay. Uh, oh, but yeah, it, then I it's up, it. it's up to everybody. Wouldn't no, it sounds good. Yeah, I hate, Bok, Bok, I hate Bok that for rest. tired because he's pulling the cart. <laughs> oh, that's true. Because Is there any the rushing part? creeks nearby? Uh, there's no water around, no. A little, Balls, little ways okay. away from water. <clears throat> okay, so okay, cool. end of the <laughs> end of this this night. Um, go through. Uh, Buckle tick. Go ahead and roll your percentile dice again. Oh yes, I forgot about that already. <laughs> Andy, can I roll for crafting? Yeah, yeah, sixty nine. Nice, nice. We just found that. <laughs> Damn, it's only four forty. <laughs> we just found the title of the episode. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and damn it, it's only 441. Damn it, there's only like 21 minutes left. Oh, earlier. Oh. Yeah. Earlier. You know I me. Mean. Earlier. Orly. Earlier. Sorry. But yeah, 69. So, uh, Squeeb, go ahead and roll your crafting. All right. You're working on your shield still? Yeah. Oh, that's a total fail. Yeah, that's a that's a big boy fail. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Um anybody else crafting anything? <laughs> Solid no. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I would actually craft, but I don't I don't can't think of anything. Unless I can practice my bone reading and have it do something special. Uh you can throw them. I suppose I need a actual uh, uh, mechanics for this, but yeah, you can throw them. <laughs> oh, your bones. I guess she was wondering, hmm, she just has some kind of question or thought or something. Hmm. Maybe about find something about getting advice for finding the Swiss. Ask it how many fleas corn chip has, and she's eating fleas off of corn chip. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I think she has all of them. <laughs> I know, right? Real fat ones. Little jar of fleas. No, I mean, I think you're giving them to her. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving them fleas. <laughs> we actually have more fleas than the works. <laughs> <laughs> Out of everybody, it might be Mustella. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she does occasionally have fleas. That is true. <laughs> Did you throw? Them? Yes, but I don't know. Is that, am I supposed to do something to throw them? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, just D uh, twenty insight. Insight. Yeah, unless you have an actual button for it. No, I did not. Okay. I did not. Um. In Oh, I need to fix my dice. Either. Big oofs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the bones no. tell me nothing. What's funny is you guys, before the game started, you were messing with your dice. Everybody was throwing 20s. Was like as soon 20s. as it starts, <laughs> the ones come out. You guys wasted your 20s. Um, so Mustella throws her bones. I think you got these from uh, Othic? Yeah. 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 Um, she throws her bones down. And uh, Iris comes stomping through and, and kind of scatters. <laughs> so there's there's really nothing you can glean from it at all. Uh. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
<laughs> Big duck feet. Ow! Ow! And she pulls it out of her foot like a, a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Not break bone. It's an incisor. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <The> tooth. <laughs> um, the, the latest video that um, Chrissy was working on. Uh, there were Iris made mention of talking to her dolls. Like she pulled out her dolls and was talking to it before she went on a punching rampage. And, <laughs> and then it made me wonder if when she's fighting, does Iris fight with those gross ass dolls in her hands? Probably like, does it, sometimes. Is she punching things while she's holding them? Because that makes it even better to me. Called her the murder Yeah, she toddler. has before. She, she likes her dolls. <laughs> Excellent. So I was just picturing after calling her the murder toddler that she's just beating the piss out of everything with the dolls in her hands. Playing while punching. Yep. <laughs> just just the want the that. smooch! <laughs> Playing with the dolls while astral arms are doing the work. Yeah, I can see that too. <laughs> oh, look, he likes it! <laughs> okay. So, oh, I picked out your eyes. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no good... Uh, <laughs> the bone reading. We're, we might kill Matthew tonight. Possibly. <laughs> having a struggle. Um, no goodness on the the bone readings. Uh, the field crafting doesn't go so great. But um, you guys have another another uh, peaceful night. Um, oh, why did you have to say it like that? <laughs> oh, because yeah, you have to put the fear into the players, right? To make them. I was just thinking we forgot to say if anyone was going to do like a watch or anything. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Then. Okay. <laughs> um, the the next day, um, day we switch maps. Ooh, new maps. Yeah. New pretty maps. New maps. Oh, good dungeon alchemist map. I love these. Ooh, uh, so good. If uh, Andy, I do want to say this, just because it's another thing from my uh, uh, idol. Yeah. If we're, uh, if it seems like we're getting close, like if anything kind of seems uh, familiar, as if like we're, I don't know, like less than thirty minutes out from the area that we would consider the possible air, uh, 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 swift stab. Uh, place I would want to use uh, the idol because it lets me. A, 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 damn it! What's the fucking wording? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Are you going to kill one of the wargs? I, 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 I no 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 no. I can use the idol to cast augury. Okay. Well, uh, and and I and I get it once at dusk. I don't know. I, Having never been to this area, you wouldn't know. Like when you're 30 minutes away or anything. Okay. Like you probably wouldn't have a very good idea until you were coming up on it. Or if X was with you, uh, she could maybe tell you that you're getting close to it or something. But, you know, having never been there, Styx isn't with you, you're probably not going to know. Okay. Cool. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, so around noon on the ne- the following day, you guys get to uh, area here, and this area. Um, you guys get to this area, and you are kind of immediately, uh, your all your ears perk up, and you can hear like some yelling in the back like, probably somewhere off this way through the trees um you hear like big heavy thuds um you can hear some high pitched voices squealing um a turtle thing <laughs> turtle uh roll for roll for insight mm-hmm. insightful iris <laughs> You do it. Oh, might be a big fern. turtle. <laughs> <laughs> might be big turtle. 
But <laughs> Maybe. You're the stomping. You hear a bunch of squealing, like high pitched voices off in the distance. Uh, then you hear like one high pitched voice. It's like, seems like it goes way high up in the air before it comes down. What? That was a good sound what? effect out of nowhere. <laughs> that was Bok Talk. What? <laughs> um, did you hear this big gutter all like, <laughs> and another one echoes it. I don't like that. Very, oh. Andy, very deep guttural laughter in the woods. I don't, Andy. I, I don't like. You're a fucking maniac. If I think, <laughs> I'm guessing. that's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Um, I'll uh, I'll say that I'll wait if if anybody noticed it and shared it with the group, I'd be willing to go invisible and uh, go towards the area. This to, isn't something that's like trying to to hide or be quiet. So you guys all hear this. Oh, I I'd ask him if you want. I can turn invisible, take a look, come on back. I'd like to try and stealth away. As he say. <laughs> Estella, they must have told a funny joke. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> a funny joke? 19. Uh, and I'm okay. sneaking off in the direction of the noises. 19 for stealth? Yes. So you would be sneaking off down the, the path to the Yes. <laughs> okay. So you can see uh the path kinda winds around between the trees and you can see why don't you roll a survival check for me? <laughs> survival? Yep, just to look for tracks and stuff. This is nothing bad. <laughs> survival. The so worry. Nothing bad. Hmm. Okay. Hey. You, you see a lot of nice. small humanoid footprints, some boots, some clawed, um, and they appear to be going in both directions, uh, like, you know, coming and going down this path. Mm. I'll s stick to the trees as much as possible. Possible? Possible. <laughs> possible. <laughs> I'm a little... I shouldn't be hungry. <laughs> because I am. <laughs> have a possible. Possible. Okay. Shardo, um, does it sound like your dancing friend? <laughs> <laughs> dancing friend? Yeah. Oh, oh. Is that the Bill song? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I love fire. it. You're playing with fire. <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, Iris is just riddled with arrows. <laughs> it, uh, the sudden and um, out of nowhere uh, invention of the automatic bow. <laughs> okay, Chardo, answer this or no? You guys can tell what his face looks like. <laughs> Half the time, we really can't. <laughs> We can't even see it most of the time. <laughs> oh, it's daytime. You guys can see it pretty good right now. Uh, Alright, so... Is is Buckle Tech following me, or am I just by myself? I, I don't, I'm just with the group. Talk yeah, I don't think he's decided if he's going to go uh, uh, invisible or not. Okay. Proceed. So, what are the rest of you guys doing? Nick Nick goes, uh, like... Disappears into the, the the edge of the tree line there, towing around. And so you guys know, like these, the, the forest here is pretty thick. Like you can't see more than five or ten feet into the. Oh damn, mm. that's thick with at least three C's. At least. <laughs> I like jokes. I'm gonna go see. <laughs> slap, 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 slap. Okay. So you guys get get around there. Um, 
you hear another uh, couple like heavy stomps come from direction. Oh, you guys probably can't see. Uh, so it would be north of north northeast of where uh, Nick Nick and Iris are at in the woods. You you hear uh, come here. Yeah, 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 come here. It's a second voice. Uh, you hear ah, ah, and something sounds like it's <laughs> flying close to you. Uh, and just lands in the middle of the path. <laughs> Very much dead. <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh, it's dead? It's dead. Oh. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Immediate sad. I'm going to poke it with my big toe. You're a madman, Andy. He's a, a mad a little squishier than you'd expect. Small humanoid. You know to be a kobold. He's a little pulverized. Oh, poor little guy. That's so sad. Andy! <laughs> <laughs> what? Ow. <laughs> she hurts herself. <laughs> uh, Shardo, uh, Mastella, what are you guys doing back there? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pick up the kobold and look at, look towards Mastella with my lip quivering. Okay. Uh, the game is paused. Oh. I don't know if you All want right. it to be, but it's going to be like sniffing around, trying to see what's going on. And she see Iris sniffing. What do she tries to be quiet and like whisper. She what? wipes her nose. It's dead. Can you save it? And she can I like sneak up here? Or do I need to sneak? Can I just move up? Sneak if you want. Try to be quiet. I try PPR on it. And she starts blowing on its face. <laughs> oh my PPR. God. PPR. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Marcella, you're pretty stealthy. You just like walking up in the open like that. I'm going to walk along if I can, like the trees. Foundry doesn't like me using arrow keys right now for some reason. All right, so you, you walk up there and you can see uh, Iris holding this very floppy um, dead kobold. Just looks beat to shit. <laughs> Is there like any chance of saving it? Uh, make a medicine check. See, see what do you think? <laughs> I don't think PPR is working. <sighs> Not, not, <laughs> what PPR? What? I what imagine do? Iris is like blowing across his nostrils. <laughs> blowing into his nostrils. Kind of makes a jug sound when you blow over the top of a jug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Mustella, you've been the, the healer for long enough to know that uh, there's nothing to bring back. He's, he's gone. And, like, you're, you're poking around on him. Most of his bones seem pretty broken. He's mm. just a pulpy mess. Um, I, 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 he, he gone, he done. <laughs> okay, and she's no, gonna, no bring back. Uh, uh, okay, and she's gonna put on her head like a hat. <laughs> <laughs> this hat is the, about the same size as you. Oh. Uh. The kobold? <laughs> it's like a cloak? <laughs> Question mark? Wait, <laughs> you're, you're putting the kobold on your head? I'll put it on my shoulders <laughs> and like hold the wings out like I'm gonna fly. You think I can fly with this? Uh, no, no wing. No. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe corn chip would eat it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You do. Akeen. She's gonna toss it over her shoulder best she can. Okay. It's like, uh, like throwing a a not completely full bag of rice over her shoulder. Like, it's just super floppy. Oh. Um, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> you'd expect like bones, like the, the arms and stuff to, to at least be solid and that everything is just just not very floppy. Been pretty well obliterated. Cardo, <laughs> Weeb. I sneak forward. Also in place. I'd like to uh, look to see if there's any tracks on the ground. If I could tell, like, what may be up, up ahead. Uh, yeah, it's survival for you, too. Uh, 
I'm slow, sorry. You can see a bunch of tracks, but you're not really quite sure what they are. You, like, you see boot tracks and little clawed tracks, but that's that's really it. Okay. Buckle tick? I will attempt to south toward where I saw Mistella go last. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make your stealth check. I Please. swear, if it's another 19, I'm going to freak out. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> <laughs> James got the chance. We're all rolling 19! <laughs> oh god. James has got the cheat yep. going on. All right, so you guys, you guys, um, pretty much all are able to stealth up, and you see Iris with his floppy kobold slung over one shoulder. <laughs> flap, 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 flap. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't roll stealth. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, Sweepy did. I have to roll that disadvantage. Oh, that. Oh. oh, everybody but Squeeb. You know, Squeeb's rolling up on the clanky Bok Talk. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, catching the attention of any. Um, Nick Nick? Uh -huh. Doing sneaky, 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 sneak, 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 sneak. <laughs> she's just ducking in and out of trees yeah. <laughs> um, the closer you get here Nick Nick you can see uh, flickering fire like a little campfire um, and you do. see that's an, awesome see another um, looks like a dead uh, kobold next to the fire and you can hear oh. as you like come around this this little bit of bend here like you can hear this loud crunch you hear what sounds like something chewing and some slobber. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, I will ready Kakura. And I'm going to wait for everyone to catch up. <laughs> oh, you don't want to peek and see what's there? Uh, I can kind of see him. <laughs> eh. Oh god. Is that oh god. <laughs> Nick Nick. The um like peeking through the trees. You're just kind of obscured, but there's a whole lot of thing to see here. Alright. Oh yeah. There is a about a ten to twelve foot tall being. Yeah. Um uh, currently sitting on its ass. Um you can see two hands working together to rip apart a kobold and eat pieces of it. <gasps> um, you see one Taste. hand is uh, next to one hand. You see a very massive, uh, well, what you think is maybe a mall. It's essentially like a, a big um, tree trunk with a slab of stone stuck to the end of it. Um, oh, lovely. The other one appears to have a massive uh, serrated sword playing on the ground. Uh, you can see uh, a bandolier strapped across his chest with different pieces. So it looks like pottery. Um, one of them's, one of them's got this, this weird hairstyle, like a, like a little mohawk coming straight down its head. The other head has this big, like kind of comical looking conical, uh, like pointed skull cap. Um, and oh. they, they don't seem to be, like he, they don't seem to hear you. They don't seem to be paying any attention this way. Like they're very content to, uh, to sit there and crunch on this kobold. You hear one go, <laughs> the, "We we was doing really good, wasn't we?" And the other one looks at the the first head says, "We was, we was, we did very good." <laughs> and he, oh. he takes this piece of kobold and smashes it on the ground and and sticks another piece in his mouth. Maybe he's trying to loosen it. Mm. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> That's what we call foreshadowing. <laughs> Beetle D dumb, huh? We do a knick knick. Oh. <laughs> you know, when 
in any RPG game, you get to that one area that just is like super over leveled. And it's just like the game telling you, yeah, you probably shouldn't be here, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit of that right now. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I'm I'm gonna hunker down, try not to poop, <laughs> and just wait for everyone to come further along the path. And I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. I'm too scared. All right. What are you? What are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, Iris, what are you doing with your floppy kobold? Uh, you could hear what what was just said around the corner. You, like these are big booming voices that don't really care about being heard or not. Mastella, I think they're the ones that know the jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna go look. You you careful, careful. La 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 la. Are you taking the kobold with you? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh. See him through the trees too. Hey. She's a little intimidated. This is a very massive creature for you guys. What? Oh. Two legs, two hands, <laughs> two heads. I'm going to turn to Mustella, use the dead kobold to put its head on my shoulder and I'm going to point at its head in my head, try to be like there's something with two heads <laughs> except she's not saying anything she's just like flailing and <laughs> flopping this dead head next to hers looking at Mustella in some weekend of animation <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll try to sneak up with Iris along the trees here and try to stay hidden do you want me to do a stealth check or anything? No, your, your stealth check is still good. Okay. And she's going to peek around, and I can actually see him now. <laughs> yeah. He's a big guy. So with Stella's eyes get melons. really wide. Shh, shh, quiet. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> she covers the mouth of the kobold. Quiet. <laughs> oh my god. She just found a new doll. <laughs> uh I can I guess everybody can see me right behind me. Uh yeah. Sh yeah. She's gonna look back at them and point like ahead where he is and then point to her head and hold up two fingies. And then she's gonna spread her arms really wide, like huge big thing. Iris is going to spread the arms of the dead kobold like Mustella's doing. <laughs> <laughs> does whatever that description is supposed to be, does that sound like anything any of us have ever heard before? Big two head thing? Probably. I mean, you guys, you guys know what giants are and pretty much the like a cousin of a giant. Like, you know, a two-headed giant is usually called an Eden. <laughs> Yar. I just heard right in the background as soon as you said that. I just, I just, hear, them being I just hear people being thrown in the air. Crunched. Crunched. Yar. As, as that is happening. Yar. 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 Laugh. <laughs> so, Mustella's... Yeah, nice stealth over. Oh, never mind. Mustella has, uh, like, kind of done her best to, to tell everybody here no matter which way you turn myself staring <laughs> <laughs> always watching <laughs> animal instinct okay, what are you oh guys by doing the next? way I don't know where my precious token is I meant to ask you about that oh uh, under the foot of the giant <laughs> no <laughs> no what I have to find precious now. No, oh, that's okay. Well, for now, I would have probably tucked him in the under the. Well, actually, he would have been with the there he is. puppies. I don't know where the puppies are either. There you go. I didn't bring him on the map. 
But there's a I precious token. I would probably keep precious, like, with puppies, wherever they would be. Would they be back at the road? Yeah, like back where you came in. We'll, we'll put precious over there. Yeah, what, uh, what, the, what are you guys doing back there? The rear guard? <laughs> I'll just I'll move, move up. up. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, same. Uh, Shardo's like stealthy enough. Buckle tick stealthy enough. And Bok Tok just comes clanking down the path here. Bok Tok, be quiet. Shh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> tiptoe, tiptoe. All right. So everybody that can see him. You guys hear something uh, off to the east. Um, got kind of an echoey sound to it. And you hear some snarls and some yips, some some things like <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> you hear, um, stay out there! Don't come in here. We have a thing. You stay. Uh, Is that Mickey Mouse? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you. You guys that can see the big guy, uh, one snarls, the other one's still chewing. The one that snarls takes his, uh, his chunk of kobold and whips it uh, this way. And you can hear it hit with a oh. wet splat. Um, he stands up and starts stomping over this way here. Oh, crap. You That's hear, a big boy. You're... He was just passing through. Why do you take our things? He's like, yeah, we was. We was just passing through. Give it back. <laughs> I think now everybody can see it, so. <laughs> James is laughing because he drew. Yes, James. I'm excited. He drew this many long times ago. And it's finally amazing. Uh, that's so a, good, James. This is what he looks like. Wow. <laughs> oh god. I want to punch it. <laughs> See, <laughs> you want to punch it? I love it. I want to punch it. <laughs> <gasps> Look at his toes. He's got toes like me. <laughs> He's got them doofy toes like me. Oh, so are those bombs? <gasps> oh, Maybe we'll have to find out. <clears throat> Ooh, I want to punch a goblet. Though. I want that goblet. So, it's, um, the, so the big guy is, he's at this, when you guys follow like where he's going you can see a cave entrance, it's like wide enough, but definitely not tall enough for him to get into. Um, and, whoops. I'm going, there you go. Uh, you see like he, he gets down on his knees and he's like reaching around in there, like trying to get inside. Um, you can more so like hear something like give a quick little like, and like ducks back in the cave. Um, <laughs> then you can hear a bunch of taunts coming from in there. And uh, the big guy outside is getting like clearly frustrated and angry. He looks around over here and he grabs a rock and he just tries to fling it in the hallway, that cave. And uh, you can hear it just echo off and bounce this big clattering, like smacking sound of the stone on stone. Um, it gives up after a minute and stands up. Stupid small things. We just want our stuff back. Just that's all we want to do is just walk around and, and find cool things. And the other one's like, yeah, like this, like this. And he pulls out this uh, little little dagger that he's got shoved in a pocket. And it's like comically small. Like he's holding it in two fingers. Uh, and it, it looks like it might as well be a toothpick for him. <laughs> we, we found Aww. this. This was fun. And the other one's like, oh, it's a shiny, pretty, yes, yes. This was all, this is a good one. Put it back. I don't see it. And, uh, yeah, he, he puts it back and starts stomping around um, back over towards the fire. Uh, hmm. As they're they're walking back this way, like, one turns its head, and you can see uh, the one with the, oh, or the, the one with the, uh, the helmet locks eyes with you, Squeeb. <laughs> <laughs> they, you, you can see the one with the uh, the helmet like taps the other one on the chest, like under under his chin. Says, 
see that? I'll did, just did, wave. See that thing? Hi. That thing. The other one looks over with his mohawk. He says, I see small green thing. On something. They both have this really weird, like, stupefied expression on their face. <laughs> <laughs> hi. They look at each other. It says hi. Oh, we can help you find cool things. We already found cool things. The other one's, yeah. Yeah, we was walking and we we smashed some some <laughs> houses that we found and we found cool things. But the other things, they took it. Are you friends of those things? Like looking back know. and forth. We what can help things? you find cool things. Are you guys just like, <laughs> who else talking actually to them? Sorry, do they see me? Nobody, nobody is seen except for um, Squeeb so far. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if, <laughs> like, like I'm if, <laughs> if 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 it lo- if it looks like Squeeb is trying to negotiate, I will jump in to help. Okay. <laughs> with, with that K with that K well, Squeeb's just talking to him oh. so far. It doesn't look like he's really <clears throat> negotiating anything just yet. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, the only one that is seen by these two, Squeeb. Okay. Uh, you guys need help? Get our things back, yes! The other one's like, yeah. Yeah, you're small. You wanna, wanna get our things back? Iris, it, it moves down the path and steps like uncomfortably close to where you're you're hiding at. Under the uh, tree. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh. If you, if you want to join a club, uh, join the a one club with the helmet. <laughs> he looks down. And he says, uh, "Join, uh, have club." And he smacks it across the his own. Uh, well, he can't really do that. But he smacks it across his chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Squeeb just like face palms. Ah, uh, so dumb. <laughs> no, you, you, you can join our, our group called the Mud Butts. We find cool shit. Mud Butts, cool shit. Yeah, you can huh. be a mud butt. The one with the mohawk like picks his nose a little bit and drops his uh, his big sword and reaches back behind him like he's wiping something. Oh <laughs> no, no mud. <laughs> Well, we'll help you if you help us. Uh, (laughs) how we help you? Uh, join join us. That sounds like not necessarily negotiating, but I'll take that as a cue. (laughs) Hold on a second, my damn headphones. We'll give you cool things to eat and shiny stuff. Hello. 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 One second, my stupid headphones like to do this sometimes. Man, we're going to need a whole other turtle just to carry the big guys. <laughs> Wipe out the swift stabs just so that the big guys have a place to ride. <laughs> um, it's just... It's real quiet music at the moment. I actually don't hear the music at all. I hear Sorry. nothing, yeah. Mine's at, at full volume. Yeah, I can actually see. Oh. oh. What was that? Oh, there's the music. Trial yeah, version. I turned it down too much. <clears throat> I still Trial don't hear it, but that's okay, version. I guess. Is James fixing his mic? His headset, I think. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need the diplomat. James, James, uh, James. I'm going to pause it real quick. Then. Mike, Mike, Mike fixes mic. James. Boop. Okay, we're back. It, it, like technical hiccup. And we're back, yeah. So, uh... Squeeb uh, was talking to the head in here. Carrying on a little bit of a conversation. Uh, 
Yeah, what did, uh, what else would you like to say? Or was this where, uh, buckle tick where you popped out and we're gonna add your two cents? Yes, I, I would like to, uh, chime in and, uh, yeah, help uh, squeeze out with the situation because we've dealt with, uh, minds like this before, or at least I think we have. <laughs> The other large, uh, babies, cognitively <laughs> challenged duo. Oh, I love them. Tumbling Opeth. You gotta love them. Yeah. wonder what their names are. Uh, B Dick, I'm struggling here. Come help me out. <laughs> I'll, uh, come out from, uh, behind the bushes and be like, yes, we've dealt with little red bastards like that before. But, uh, yeah, we can fit back there for you. Uh, you see, uh, there's more. How many? It takes a little little step back and points a giant stone club hammer thing your direction. Less than time, ta- less than ten, more than five. Maybe a hundred. <laughs> they like look at each other and you can see like the one is counting the other one's fingers, vice versa. More than your hands and toes. That's a lot. They're all in, in the trees. We're everywhere. <laughs> and some of see. us you can't see even in even in the daylight. We're invisible as well. All right. Go ahead and uh, make a deception check. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god. This was going one way and then it turned uh, a hard right. <laughs> 15. Ah. 15 against oh, dude, Be careful was there everywhere. What do you say? Be was? careful was there everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, we're friends, though. Maybe. <laughs> There's no friends. Not, not yet. Get our shinies back. Yeah, see? We'll help you, and you help us. Hmm. Yeah? The other one looks at him. And says, Could work, yeah. Oh. Well, how many? And they, they, they're both holding their, their weapons out at you. Like, a little, little distrusting. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll show some of us. And we'll go in and help you out. Uh, there are other ones that are a little shy. Iris, you want to come out and meet, uh, uh, what's your name? No. Oh, he's we. And, uh, the one with the mohawk points towards the, uh, the, the metal helmeted guy. And I'm was puts a thumb in his own chest <laughs> here. You know, their shared chest, but under his own chin. Oh, it's just going to pop the cobalt head out like a hand puppet. Hi. Oh, oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, they're very confused. And the one looks at the other and says, that the one you kicked? Yeah, it yeah. hurt really bad. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I would not die. <laughs> oh, like, see one shoulder shrug. <laughs> Iris laughs and farts and then she comes out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I heard you telling a joke earlier and so I thought I'd play one too. Joke? <laughs> you were laughing. It was a joke, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well. We was laughing because uh, we, we kicked that one and he went over the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it. Oh. He didn't go quite as far as as it was thought he did. She's, she's just going to open the mouth of the thing and go. <laughs> she's just making it laugh. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> kind of disturbing. Yes. <laughs> you see the pose of the tokens in where he's got like one arm rested on a on the handle of the weapon there. Yeah. He does that, and he 
like leans forward, pushes his head forward, and you can see him kind of like scratch at his temple. Like he's oh god, kind of not really sure what to make out of you guys. What the hell is happening with these templates? I wasn't trying to use a template. I was trying to measure how far away from the campfire I was. I don't know what to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ruler. Damn it. Sorry. No. <laughs> panic. The James Please. panic. All your things are breaking. What's going on? <laughs> okay, okay. The panic there. I can see like one show up and then another one and then another one even faster. <laughs> I, 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 I figured just for fun, I would do a little sleight of hand and uh, make the campfire uh pour over five feet on the kobold body that's uh behind us all <laughs> or behind all right the so two big guys you you pop the uh the campfire over there and um like they they turn and look at it look back at you guys um medium medium <laughs> I'll give it another minute, then I'll just snuff it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Over. Um, see, like, they both These guys are smarter than they are if they're no medium. <laughs> they both <laughs> set their weapons down and uh, each grab a half of the kobold and tear it open. And you still see it looks pretty juicy. Um, one of them crunches into it. A little bit longer, small one. A little bit. Very close. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a killer, not a cook, but I can always try. And I, <laughs> I just caused the fire to go back on the kobold for another minute. And I'll just say, flip them over. Oh, they're they're holding it. Well, they, put they, them back you, in and flip them over. <laughs> you want this one, too? A good seer. Yeah. No. <laughs> one minute on each side. S&P, the only thing for me. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry, I had to do it. You don't want this one? No, no. We was had enough. Can I have it? I'll give you an onion. Seems fair, okay. Yay. She's gonna walk over and give him an onion. It's already got a bite out of it, but she's gonna give uh, him rest. Oh, this, an this, iris onion. This onion is like smaller than their, their fingernail. <laughs> it's just a tiny little thing to them, but... <laughs> They take it. You You'll can see, have it, I swear. You can see Was just drop it into like uh, one of the pockets on his vest. Was it damp? The onion was it a damp onion? A moist onion. No. Are these, are these just a bunch of dead kob uh, kobolds hanging out in trees because they got tossed around and they're just so impaled now? Uh, this one over here. Um, I, I just can't. I can't tell. It, it just has. It just has me visually seeing him. I, I didn't know. So, see uh, this guy here and one over here. Uh, with a very high perception check. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. No, it's all right. I didn't move him back far enough out of the way. Um, I thought, thought that was dead. You, you can see <laughs> uh, eyes staring back. Like they, they look like they're hiding in the trees there. Ooh, what do we do? Damn it. I, the one time I wish I had the GU perception with this character, just because I feel bad now. I, I was like, shit. Didn't realize. No. Oh, you're good. Um, hmm. <laughs> I, I, okay. I, I think mid sentence at one point, I just kind of walk up and uh, still talking to the two big guys. I would just, you know, randomly skeet shoot in this general direction with two Eldritch Blast. Okay. Just uh -oh. for fun. <clears throat> Roll them both at uh, disadvantage. Yep. Long well, target. Target you, you little bastard. And they're going to have go. uh, heavy cover here. For their oh, yeah. Eldritch. Eldritch Blast. Attack. Disadvantage. I miss with the rat one. Yeah, the first one just it slams into one of the trees up front. Attack. Disadvantage. 17. Okay. Um, What's well, gonna miss? It, it, it goes miss. a little further in, but it smashes into a tree. Cool. Alrighty. Figure it's worth a shot. <laughs> oh, what? 
Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, we... That one can do magic. They might be really good at this. You guys oh, go in there. Been doing this for a while. <laughs> Get our shinies back. Well, what 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 is your shinies? What are we looking for? Well, it's a it's a crown. It's a golden crown. Shinies, a bag of money. Ooh. Get it Why back. Why would they take oh. it? Because. Because, I don't know, I guess they wanted it. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh my god. Mastella! <laughs> Mastella! Uh. Uh. be hiding in the bush looking angry at Iris because she's trying to stay hidden. <laughs> yep. She's gonna... Take the cobalt and open its mouth. Mustache! <laughs> oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god. Oh, what just oh. happened there? I think the mic started cutting her out a little bit. It sounded like she choked on her own spit when she <laughs> yelled it. <laughs> oh, no, it's <laughs> possible. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Whoops, I didn't mean to, to do that. Uh, bouncing around in here. Let's see, can I keep sneaking up through the trees? Yeah, they don't know you're there yet. Okay, I'm gonna sneak up a little bit under the trees. <clears throat> okay, uh, Buckle Tick, I need you to make a Wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom save, you say? Yep. Okay. Mm. Saves. There it is, wisdom. <laughs> Normal. Uh, ten. Okay. It's fun. Uh oh. Buckle tick. This is fun. You suddenly are... Overcome uh, with the, like a sixth sense that you shouldn't be killing these kobolds. Maybe, maybe what you're doing is bad. You should definitely stop shooting at them. Uh oh. They smell. Hey, the, the smell of their meat is like angry. You know. What? Hey, Andy. Yeah. I th I think I have to roll one more time because of these new uh, goblin traits. When we switch them to the weird thing. What do you got? Oh. All right. With the. Uh, advantage on, uh, on being charmed. Ah, the Fey Ancestry. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, we have that? I didn't even know. <laughs> yep. That we was have with new the, goblin stuff. The new goblin thing. This will probably be this will probably be worse. So it's might as well might as well try. Twelve. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that's better. Jesus. Yeah, you 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 so <laughs> oh, you almost shake it off, but you just you have this feeling that shouldn't shouldn't be hurting these kobolds. That done anything wrong to you? <laughs> I mean, technically, that's true. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna turn over to uh, my friends. I'll be like. Uh, one one minute, big guys. I'll be like, you know what? I'm just gonna kind of walk over to the group. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to the group and I'll say, you know, I I don't know what it is. There's something in my gut that says maybe we shouldn't mess around with these red guys. What? I don't know what it is. Are, you have are to you know? <laughs> No, I. Are you feeling okay? They're, they're, they they seem nice. They just seem nice. They're overall nice guys, you know? Man, I, I, I feel oh, so boy. good. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, these clothes are so soft and... Yeah, but yeah, they're really nice. I I don't know why. They're just really nice. See that guy? I'm pointing oh, at the one in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see that one? I'm pointing the one in the fire. He's really nice. 
You see that one? And I point to the gelatin skeleton one. The He's gelatin right. skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> Let me write that down. That's gelatin amazing. Gelatin skeleton. I have it written down. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they seem really nice. They, they, they just seem like really nice, nice fellows. Have you been sucking on that red ore again? <laughs> I, I don't have so any on that me. red ore. <laughs> so, I, a long ago episode callback. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any of that on me. But no, I don't need red ore to see that these red guys are really cool. Well, I, I guess we could try to recruit them. Is that what you're saying? We was gets down on one knee, hearing all that, and he like. He inches way close to Iris, or they, they, they inch way close to Iris, like uncomfortably so. So Iris, your vision is taken up by these two massive heads, and they stink. They are disgusting. What do they um, think to Iris? Ah. Yeah. They say, so you help us or no? <laughs> I think so, yes. Uh... You I, just, think- I don't know what it is. I have a conflict of interest coming in. You just cooked one. Hey, Buckle Tick. She's going to look at Buckle Tick and she's going to punch the cobalt that she's holding. <laughs> <laughs> what, what What? do I have the ne- feel to do if I... Wince. I wince. I was like, eh! No! <laughs> 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 no, no, don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Buckle tick, you hear in your no, head. Don't do that. You hear in your head, buckle tick. Ignited fool. <gasps> oh. Wait, 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 wait. Now, is this a familiar voice or is this another voice? No, that's a, that's a familiar voice. <gasps> <laughs> 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 oh my that, god, any- Matthew! <laughs> I guess we are that. We are gonna kill what, Matthew. What today. does that do? What does that do to me? <laughs> Just hearing that. Oh god. Um, I don't, that's up to you. I think the reaction um, you had was yeah. it. <laughs> I, like, I hope. Okay, okay. Uh, it, it, this, 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 this is gonna be like uh, the happy helmet. Where I'm smiling and happy, but I'm sweating and shaking, and there's a little stream of tears off of one corner of my eyes. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Just don't hurt them anymore. <laughs> Master Adam. You like my purple plants? <laughs> you asking Buckle tickets? Yeah. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I think there's two of them dying now. <laughs> I don't. I don't like purple plants. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you like this they thing? Don't they Why don't do sit you... well with me. Why do you like this thing? And she's flopping around the dead body. Why? Why? Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm... They just seem like overall nice guys. <laughs> 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 And I'm just shaking and sweating profusely. And the streams <laughs> of tears are coming out of the sides of my head. My eyes are starting to wall out to the point where you can't even see the pupils anymore. Like, God, they're nice guys. <laughs> you guys have never seen such conflict on Buckle Tick's face. <laughs> Poor boy. He seems Iris is gonna, torn. Iris is staring at the floppy body. And then she's going to yell back at the bushes. Mastella, I think Buckle Tick's broken. Let's <laughs> call his face palm and looks grumpy and tries to be quiet. <laughs> face palms and looks grumpy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Damn it. This situation is uh oh god. Oh god. You hear um uh, you guys can all hear some chattering um in the the forest there. Um yeah, yeah. You hear some, you can hear some chattering back there, and from the uh, from the separate 
So from the, the trees over on the side there, um, <laughs> look the damn. There we go. Um, two rays come flying out of the woods, uh, towards two towards Iris and one towards um, Squeeb and Bok Tok. Uh, the first one. Yeah. 14 hit you? Please. No. <laughs> Love it. All right. The next two go toward uh, Iris. 19 hit you, Iris, or 23. Sorry. Yep. Okay. And the second one towards Iris. 21. Yep. Okay. One deal is 2d6. So Iris, she's she's standing there screaming back for Mastella. She gets hit in the ass with a uh, a fiery ray uh, for ten points of fire damage. My uh, butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then seven more fire damage from the second one. <clears throat> and you hear another high pitch. Okay, get him! Like from the woods. <laughs> <laughs> B take your friends are attacking us. Snap out of there's scamps like that. There's scamps like that that just <laughs> joke you out. <laughs> Snap out of it. I, I go up to B take and slap him in the face. <laughs> oh, oh, stupid, stupid things are everywhere. You gonna help hey, us? <clears throat> yeah. I would like to try and shoot the one that shot Iris. Okay. Uh, you. Actually, let me let me have him roll stealth to see if he's. Uh, fifteen against your perception. Flee! Seventeen. Oh, yeah. You can see him back there. But can he see me? <clears throat> All right. I will attack him okay. with Kakura. Bam, all the text. Oh. <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> oh, hey. oh. Damn. All right, so instead of nice. hitting the critical button, Matthew, um, yes. oh shit, you don't have a choice, do you? I can, well, I could do the thing of rolling uh, normal and then just double the number, if you'll allow that. No, how about just roll normal and, um, you know, for its ability. So roll normal first and then I'll have you roll a second set. Uh, three, four, seven. And then I... Let's just say tiny cobra. <laughs> one, one. Okay. So he didn't, uh, didn't proc the effect of damage. Where's Oh, oh, great. Okay. So 12, 14 damage total. Mm hmm. And I shoot. Hey, ha, get, me, get, fur. And your sneak attack. Which is criticalized. <laughs> oh. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. 17, 23. Oh. So uh, 40 damage total and just blows this thing up. Uh, he he is good and dead. Uh, I'll move a little over into uh, some thicker trees, and I'll use my bonus action to hide. Okay. Uh, Buckle Tick, you feel that strange feeling uh, subside finally. You don't have the you don't have the desire to to be friends with them anymore. Oh, so the slap word. <laughs> Slap. I slapped him. Oh, oh, yeah. You're, you're thinking the slap. Gotcha. Yeah, no, it, it was the caster dying. <laughs> if anybody that sees me, they see me stop shaking, but they see the happy face go to a fucking angry face. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I know that it's just a kobold, but I need that little motherfucker to make a. Uh, I don't even need. Well, never mind. No, I'm. I'm not. If, okay, I probably can't see him anymore. Or at least I can't see the one that I shot at earlier. Am I right? Uh, yeah, you you don't. 
You can see like okay. eyes, but you can't really see a whole lot. Okay, though, so but before you but get that, I, though, see I need eyes, I need yeah, everybody yeah. to to roll initiative. Yay. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! My poop dice are not doing good today. Look at all them dice, though. Okay. My brain. Uh, there we go. I completely forgot how to roll initiative. <laughs> uh, you can go to the combat go. tab and just click the dice that shows up in the combat tab. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Squeeb. Guys, for some reason, it's not letting me do it. It's weird. You can't click on it. Uh, roll the dice in the combat tab. And do it. Okay, that worked. All right, we got everybody. <clears throat> um, this guy is peeking. Yark, yark. This guy. All right. So, peeking out. Um, uh, these that he has. Uh, we was his back. And he's going to uh, throw a sling bullet out there. And miss terribly. He goes to, to wind it up. <laughs> he lets it loose and smashes the tree right in front of him. Cool. All right, Squeeb. Um, do I see any kobolds? Or I'm, I'm going to gaze around and see. You can make a perception see. check. Right. <clears throat> yeah, so you can see the one that, that just wound up and, and tried to... Throw that sling out here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh bastard. Oh, shoot a firebolt at him. Okay. Um, let me target him. Huh. Don't let me click my stuff for some reason. Weird. I'm not sure what's going on. You can't hit the attack button in the chat there? Oh, okay, let me see. Oh, it came up. I didn't, sorry. I didn't see it. Pew! Uh, 14? 14 hits him. Yay! Damage. Damage! <laughs> Damn! Okay. Uh, you, you blast him and... Uh, your firebolt hits him right in the snout and... face. he's dead. Yeah! I knew you were awesome. That'll end my turn. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> quick reminder too, because I know it's been a minute since I played. Uh, if you go to the, the combat tab or the combat tracker tab, you right click on it, it'll pop it out, so you can have the chat and the the combat tracker open at the same time. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that was squeed. Uh, movement or anything? Uh. No, I'll just stay where I'm at. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, Mustella. <clears throat> so, this is... What? Ah, stop it. Foundry. That little guy is right under the menu. There we go. I went to click on him and I clicked the menu because he was right under it. This guy... Is he the only one left alive, I guess? That's the only one I see... Uh, I'll make a perception check. <laughs> oh, also, uh, Nick Nick, who do you want to give per, uh, advantage to? Inspiration, there we go. Oh! Uh, I'll do it for... A buckle tick. Sure, why not? Uh, so 10, Mustella, you... Uh, I'm just putting this one here for inspiration. Oh, you're, wait. You're not I rolled... I realize I rolled performance and not perception. Do you want to, do you want to just take that number or you want me to re-roll it? Uh, 
Or should I re-roll it because I probably have a plus? Do I have a plus to perception? I don't know, I might not. It's your wisdom, so... Yeah, your wisdom is going to be better, I think. Oh, then, yeah, uh, I guess I should roll uh, it. What did you roll? You rolled a... a I rolled eight. a 10, but it was performance instead of... You rolled an 8. Uh, yeah, your wisdom is plus 5, is 13. So, yeah, you can you can see this guy up here. Okay, that's the only other one I saw. Yep, for right now. Oh, I don't even want to waste a spell on this guy. That's what cantrips are for. Yeah, but they fail all the time. I also can't select him. Let me see. Buckle take I turned your thing off on accident. Will you turn what up? I turned buckle takes uh, eight. Oh, okay. Um, let me check my... I think if I try to produce flame and throw it, I feel like I will burn the tree down. Is it likely I will burn the tree down? I feel like it's likely I'll burn the tree down. You can try. Oh, maybe I won't because I'm kind of worried about it. Druid doesn't want to burn trees down. No, I do not want to burn the tree down. But frostbite or reach, maybe I'll do frostbite. Okay. <clears throat> um, that tree. So I guess from the trees where I am, Mustella sees sees that cold bone, and she's gonna try to hit him. Frostbite. Well. Saving through oh, yeah. sixteen. That hits him. Double. Okay. Oh, 11. Ooh, that hits. You guys can hear like little shards of frost form <laughs> as her beam goes. Uh, or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's not a beam. You just cause frost to form on him. But yep, you, you guys can hear little shards of frost form over the bubble back here. Uh, you can hear a quick little yelp and is frozen quite to death. Frozen quite to death? Yep. I'm a little sad. <laughs> Why? Because the cobbles are cute. <laughs> you guys feel bad for killing things. <laughs> I want to play one at some point in time. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to kill them. And. Uh, hmm. I think I want to bonus action. Um, I'm trying to find my field. Try to remember how long it lasts. <clears throat> um, one minute. So, I'm assuming you can recast this. Well, it's not really a cast; it's using an item. I don't see anything, see anything that says you have to use it once per anything. Does what? that mean like when the minute's over, you can re-summon your shield? Or the animated shield? Uh, got charges on. Huh? Let me, let me check. No, I don't see any <coughs> charges either. Um, check actually, is it in... Let me see if it's in Foundry. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can link it, maybe. Oh, it looks like you can re reuse it. It basically just looks like unless you die or you're incapacitated. Yep. Such. Yep, it looks like you can reuse it. Okay, I will bonus action. She'll say very quietly. Tick. And her shield will pop up in front of her. Okay. Got your little shield going. Conditions in here, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Um. All right. So from the cave mouth, one scuttles into the entrance. Looks at Iris there, and you can see. Oh, well, anybody that can see into the entrance, there, um, little kobold starts whipping around a sling and fires it <laughs> off towards Iris. 
Oh. Uh, misses. Uh, it goes right between Iris and the, the two faces of uh, Wee Wee there. <laughs> uh, they were like, they both were like, a, huh? pull their heads back. <laughs> they suck. And this guy gets back <laughs> into the cave. Okay. Uh, E-Tick. Um, I I think Shardo and Nick Nick go before me because they got higher dexterity than I do. Uh, could well be. Uh, so yeah, you, Shardo, uh, you go first then. All right, I'm gonna move up to here. Actually, I'm. I think I only 18. have a plus four. Uh, uh, wait, yeah, I lied. Shardo, go ahead and go back. Nick Nick goes first. Sorry. What? Nick Nick's 18, Shardo 7. Really? Yeah. My oh. dex is 19. The 17. Okay, what? let me re import your. Oh, it could be the old decks. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the old one. Okay. Oh, there. There. You, now you're good. Gardo, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Jeez. Wait. Do we Hold see on, let's see when I move up to here. Uh, see a hallway, like a cave hallway full of kobolds scampering around. Do I see every one of them that's on my screen? See what you can see. It won't let me select that big one, but I want a hunter's marking. The bigger token. It's up there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Select. Where I had. Oh, whatever. That's Hunter's Mark. Yeah, I'll take a sharpshooter shot at him. Okay. Am I still hidden? Uh, yeah. You are. Go ahead. But he's so cute. Seventeen. Seven, seven, yeah, seventeen. Yeah, that still hits him. Damn it. 24. Yep. 24 damage to him. He's still alive. And I'll do another sharpshooter shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming he saw me after that first shot. Yeah, yeah, you're not, <clears throat> you're not um, invisible anymore. All right, or fifteen. Uh, fifteen. That hits. Eighteen. Eighteen kills him dead. And then I'll switch to this first kobold. This guy right here? Yeah. Okay. Sharpshooter on him. I hit 17. I clicked on one. Hold on. 
Hack attack. Seventeen on that. All right, that one definitely killed. <clears throat> I'm done. I like the one voice that just says, "Oh, tiny cobalt." No. Okay, so these, <clears throat> you you pop around the corner, shoot two of these things. Uh, you see one uh, loaded down with a bunch of random shit. It just looks like he has a, a collection of random goodies on. Um, I can't. Or no, no. Uh -huh. I know what I'm doing. Roughly look like this. Oh, cool. Aww. Random stuff on him. Uh, That's my owl. <laughs> He's not having all. Uh, you, you killed it. Just <laughs> send uh, two arrows his way, and pepper him. He falls over dead against those boxes. Uh, the other, the other one that was in the main entrance way. This is the one that shot the sling bullet at uh, Iris and tried to duck back in. You get him in the back as he's running away and he falls dead. Um, the other ones are all alerted to you. They can. I also see the error in my uh, my map making. Okay. Is that it for you? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Uh, Nick, Nick. <laughs> Do I have line of sight on this guy? Okay. Uh, he would be on the other side of the wall. I just didn't draw the... I messed up the wall there and didn't draw it down. It should be, like, down here. You gotcha. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 25, 30. Okay. Do I... There we go. I see him now, or is he still blocked from me? No, you can see him now. Okay. Uh, can he... Did he see me as I approached? Uh, no, you're still hidden. Okay. We'll take a shot. Twenty-five to hit. Definitely hits. And uh... all right, that's enough to kill him. Oh, I was going to do the sneak attack, but okay, <laughs> oh, you, you can roll it. That was enough yeah, to kill sure. him, though. <laughs> just for just for the feel goods there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kill them. Almost four times over, five times. Oh over. my god. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty dead. Okay. Until he was dead. And uh I will I, I, Do I need to bonus action hide again if there's no one in line of sight of me seeing me do that? Uh nah, you you'd still be hidden. You're good. Okay. <laughs> uh that is uh uh, I will just look over to Buckle Tick and say, Stop out of it! And that's end of my turn. <laughs> what did you say? Snap out of it! <laughs> oh, oh, snap out of it, gotcha. Okay. Uh, that's Nick Nicks. We was uh, still down on one knee, like, just, just pulled his head back from all the, the shit flying around. What? They they know magic, little ones. They, they, they can help. Was like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, send him in the cave. Uh, I bet all the other ones come come screaming out of there. Um, and they go and stand next to the cave, kind of like do the like one arms pointing with the sword, and the other ones kind of like waving you guys towards the the entrance with the uh, the mall. Uh, Iris, did Buckle Tick go already? 
Oh shit, no, he did not. Sorry. Buckle tick. I gotta move. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, buckle tick. Oh yeah, as, uh, as soon as uh, yeah, that whole thing, I snapped out of it and then I hear <laughs> everything goes from snap out of it! I'm gonna fucking oh, buckle tick's pissed off now. He's just gonna have this dagger in his hand. He's gonna dash into that fucking cave. He's like, weak-minded fool, weak-minded fool! <laughs> just fucking dashing with a fucking knife in my hand. The funny Is it thing, nurse knife? Uh, funny thing about running straight into this cave here. Um, yep. Uh, you hear, you hear a click. <laughs> oh, shit. You, you hear a click, and oh, this, no. this net it's goes cute. up. Hell yeah. Uh, hang on. Find here. Sorry, it was just a step away. Oh my god. And he's so excited about it. <laughs> Oops. Excited? No, I just have to go find the thing. Alright, um, so you, you hear a click uh, in a uh, this, this net that was like kind of cleverly hidden among the, the rubble and rocks at the bottom here. Uh, it comes flying up. You need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. <laughs> dexterity save? Yep. That, where is it? There it is. Deck safe. Normal. Channel your Jesus. GU. 14. Oh, okay. So you hear the click and this net goes flying up and you're able to just dodge out of the way. Yes. This net goes flying up and you can see, like watching it, you can see like a little series of like pulleys and little hooks that are in the uh, embedded in the ceiling above you. Uh, that are holding this this net up in the air, and there's there's now nothing in it except so it's kind of like raining down some pebbles and stuff on you. Huh. We'll get rid of that. Sweet. Okay. After the, oh god. Go ahead. I'll go. yell out to the group. Go raging into the hallway. Well, it's on. It, it's on pause. Oh my bad. There you go. Yep. After that little situation, I'm gonna yell back saying. Watch out for traps! And I'm just going to peer down, and I see a couple kobolds over there. Yep. Or at least I see a few kobolds. Uh, I'm going to make this one the furthest one back here, which I can see, mm -hmm. like most of. I need that motherfucker to make an intelligence save. <laughs> All right, what are you casting? I am pissed. This thing. Where's the spell? Where is it? Psychic it Lance? Is, uh, yep, Psychic Lance. Nice. Need him to make save. Yes. Go ahead oh, and, I love, and click your, love that spell. your spell. <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Dang. It's been forever. It's like the only spell I know personally that deals with uh, like, mm. uh, intelligence save. I'm sure there's others, but that's the first one that comes right. to my mind. There's, there's quite a few more, but... Struggling what buckle the hell is it? Well, it, it's not bringing up all my spell. It's bringing up just. Hold on. Wait. Innate spell casting. No, no, no. Can't trip. It's not bringing up my other spells. Like. Yeah. Hmm. So I think what happened. Did you uh, recently change your spells around? No. Second. Oh, there we go. Yep. If you yep, guys change do anything between sessions, uh, you got to let me know so I can re-import your character. But you should be good okay. to go. There we go. Casting Ralithum's Psychic Lens. Back here. Intelligence check. Pew. Nope. He fails. So that, that motherfucker... Is going this to take. Oh, I am pissed off at kobolds now. Go they are now on my shit list. Go ahead and roll seven ones. Uh, Seventy. Uh, and don't you dare. Oh, 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 Mega, yeah. Oh, my. Whoa, that was yeah. a little. Oh, my. 17 psychic damage to that <laughs> motherfucker. All right. Uh, that was, that was a lot more ones than I actually expected there. 
Uh, let's see. You unleash a similar lens of psychic power from your forehead of the creature that you see with the range. Uh, alternatively, you can utter his name. You don't know his name. Uh, no. Okay. So, Buckle Tick runs in here, dodges out of the way this this net that's on the floor, this net trap. Sees this kobold back here, like, getting ready to cast the spell. And you just lance out, like, your, I don't know, vision or something. This purple beam of light and smack him in his head. Uh, you can see him start twitching and foaming at the mouth and takes the, the 17 damage. You can see him just kind of like sag forward after that, but he's still alive. Good. <laughs> that is all. Okay. Um, Iris. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, bonus action. Boner action. <coughs> Boner. Bo -bo 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 Boner. Ah, uh, never mind. All right, that that's it for me. Sorry. What? All that build up for a bonus action and nothing. Well, I don't think I can really hide because uh, I use all my movement there. Okay, now you can go, Iris. No boner action. Oh. Oh, me. I'm gonna dash. I love boner action. Who doesn't? 15, 20, <laughs> 25, 40, 45, 50. 55. <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving your token under the bodies and disappear. Have a Okay. Alright, I need you to hold on one second then. Uncle Tick said to look for traps, so I'm gonna run in and look. <laughs> 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 this makes him still up very nervous. <laughs> the goblin with no eyes is yep. going to look for traps. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Um, okay, so uh, Iris, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Two things here. Two, two is the... Uh, I need First is the dex save. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks of the mansion again. <laughs> 14. Uh, okay. So... I think... You actually missed that thing. Okay, you missed that thing. <clears throat> um, so as your iris is like flying through this hallway, just bumbling and skipping over the dead bodies and stuff. Uh, you miss you miss a special thing. Uh, you come up on this little trio of kobolds here. Hey, do I still have my dead one? Uh, I don't know. Did you bring it with you? Of course. If I'm yeah. allowed. Yeah, I moved him back. Let me go grab him. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna make it talk. Prepare to witness my power! And I'm gonna activate my dicks. <laughs> oh, <God>. Okay. <laughs> Remember how to do it? Summon... What dicks? I see the arms of Astro Self summon. Is that for the? Is that for the? I think so. <laughs> You're our little special one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, I'm dying. So they need to do a dexterity saving throw. Okay, this is everybody within ten feet. So all three. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> what? Alright, the oh, shit. No! Uh, top makes it. The one right in front of you fails. <laughs> and the one in the back <clears throat> also fails. <laughs> Damage. Boner action. Alright, so Iris runs in here with a dead. Dead floppy kobold over one shoulder that she was all sad about. She was so sad that these, this kobold died and she runs in, explodes outwards in dick shaped arms, uh, and just absolutely pummels these two to death. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. It's gonna make the dead kobold talk. Oopsie. <laughs> oops, no oops. You started it, meanie mean pants. 
Such insults fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if we can say that. Is on, that your? Oh, that, that was your bonus board. action, so you you can. Yep. Still do some other um, things. Um. Well, I use dash as my action. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I'm done. I mean, I could do flurry of blows, but I just on him, meh. Meh. Heh. Yeah. Nah, well, you, have to, you have to take the attack action. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm done. All right. I'm going to play with my dead kobold. <laughs> flop, 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 flop. Get rid of some of these guys out of here. Clean this up. Yeah, there's definitely a kobold in there that's making an iris sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of cracks me up. It's probably her playing with her kobold. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh no! What was that? Okay. What? It was a natural 20 on us. Oh. Okay. More rolling oh. initiative, huh? Yeah, lots more. Oh no. I mean, it's kobolds. Expect just a small handful. That was a lot of a dice handful rolls. of kobold. That's a whole different meeting, James. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's go back to our updated combat tracker now with new more lots of enemies. And we are back at the top. Uh, we'll go here. <laughs> Hold his. This one right in front of Iris here. This guy is going. Thanks. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. So he's gonna splay his fingers out in front of you, Iris. Uh, go ahead and hit the saving throw, DC 12. On save. Wait, what kind of saving throw? Con save. You can hit the button. Oh, the con. Chart. Oh, hey, hey. that's handy. Uh, no, nope. oh, so he, he throws his hands out and a, a puff of nasty green poof gas comes out. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> oh my gosh. You <laughs> take exactly one poison damage. Nice. My nose burns. Uh, choke on that! <laughs> <laughs> choke on that! Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trying real hard. He's just not doing great. Sure, that. Oh my gosh. Good things. Oh. I gotta pull. Sorry, guys. Uh... D rollers. <laughs> oh my no. god. No. D roller fans. No, no. no. This. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Melissa? Well, tell us, what was you named a dead kobold Melissa that Iris Irwin. has? <laughs> now back to your regularly scheduled program of D-Rollers. I will smack you. Oh. What's, what's wrong, Matthew? Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew. Oh, stats. 
May he, you want to case you? <laughs> Melissa, you know Peace. what you're doing. <laughs> huh, I have not... This? You know how they make those elf on a shelf things? I'm going to take a picture of a can of cashews with Matthew. <laughs> Case you want to make you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poor Matthew. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Uh, okay. Huh, so they actually nerfed Nerf this guy. Why? Feels unnecessary. I was wondering why there was uh, why I had two different versions of the the this uh cobalt dude. Yeah, they nerfed him, and he has completely different spells. What the hell? All right, I'm going with the one that uh that is in Foundry here. It's um the legacy enemy. They must have updated him in book. Hmm. All right. Sorry, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I was very confused why there was two different things. Uh, okay, that, that's all he can get mixed up with it, the different versions of Bob Alright, uh, Squeeb, it's your turn. Sorry about that, guys. No problem. Okay. Alright, let's get him back, Doc. Uh, uh, Mud Oh, I see some. Alright. A lot of dead ones in this hallway. What about... Is this guy still up? No, he's Is that dead. guy dead? Okay. Is this guy dead? That's uh, Iris's buddy. Oh. Floppy, floppy, <laughs> floppy, floppy buddy friend. friend. Okay. Is this guy floppy alive? Buddy that guy's alive, yeah. All right. <laughs> then I'll hold up my gauntlet, shoot a firebolt at that guy. Sure. Uh... <laughs> He jumps over to the side and avoids your firebolt. Damn it. <laughs> I'll pull out. Ah, never mind. No. I'll just keep it same. Okay. Uh, and I'll have a uh, Bok Tok take the dodge action. Okay. Watch out, he farts. Farts. This guy over here. Right. I did not realize that the tunnel didn't end there. <laughs> uh, Iris guy is attacking you. Oh my. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. So yep. he, he, uh, you see this, this one pop around the corner of the, the tunnel over here. You can see him like, like throwing something up almost like a sling, but he lets go of the whole thing instead of like launching a bullet or something. Uh, he throws the whole damn contraption at you and you have a split second to see like two balls connected to some kind of lines come spinning through the air. and It's sparking when it comes towards you. Um, let's see. Take. A. Five bludgeoning damage as this thing collides with you. Okay. You are currently restrained. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so it, it throws, it's a bola, essentially. Just like mm -hmm. a, 
Yeah, just a bubble. Throws it through your, uh, it wraps you up, it's like your pins your arms to your sides, uh, <laughs> and he runs back behind the wall. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, Mustella. <clears throat> um, if I am a large creature, will that block people from like shooting around me and such? Are you asking about a bear? Well, I mean, any large creature, right? What? So, from what you can see in here, is this hallway appears to be about ten wide. So, I would be the size of. You'd be pretty close to the size. We was. Yeah. Not tall wise, but you'd be taking up that much space. So it would block people is what you're saying depending on what creature you are probably gonna at least mess with line of sight uh, I, I can't think of a creature i was trying to think of a creature that would fit better but i, I don't think i have any that fit better uh the wolf i do but is that is that any better because it's considered large oh i didn't realize yeah. Squishy, squishy giant octopus. <laughs> I think they're yeah they're giant. <laughs> so yeah, those giant octopus mm -hmm. are huge. Um, they big large lads. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I can't think of anything that would. Anything that has enough health, let me put it that way. Enough HPs. Guess you're just gonna have to go full caster, huh? <laughs> okay, I guess whatever. Um. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was her well, I guess first thing to me. <laughs> I, I get to move. Oh, jeez, my ruler just flew all over the place. What is happening? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna move now. <laughs> Once more with feelings. Eh. Come on. Oh boy. So like the diagonal thing. Can you see my ruler? Yeah. So if I move here, does that still count as 30 feet? Do you see like how it's how yeah. it like? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I couldn't remember if diagonal change things, diagonal stuff. No, what? and it's so hard to I, I don't really care. Okay, I, I feel like there's a rule for it, but I never remember what, what the heck it, it is. It is, and it's kind of, I don't know. I'll, I'm only going to really enforce that under, like, specific situations and stuff, so. Okay, um. You can see just this, this hallway of carnage. You can see Iris. Yeah. Iris is standing at the end of the hallway with her arms pinned to her sides. And yeah. She's got her, her dick arms out. But she's just standing there, pinned, like waddling, like a uh, her baby duck feet, just waddling back and forth in place. And then you can see this this guy at the end of the light of Iris. Okay, Mustel is very nervous because Iris is in there and in in potential troubles. Um, so this actually changes what I'm going to do because I couldn't see any of that. Uh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna gonna. Gonna pre. Oh, <laughs> oh! I'm gonna pre. Uh. Upon a ten foot radius squirrel. Ten foot radius squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, that's pretty clear. Cool. Ten foot radius. Do is there a tool to draw something if you don't want to put a template down? There's a like a template tool if you don't want to click the spell and you just want to draw it. Oh, can you just like freehand? Okay. Uh, see the hit the ruler button and then you'll have three other or four other buttons pop up. You can draw like a circular one, square, or a line, or a cone. So that is like a ten foot uh yeah. Ten foot radius. Yep. Fear. So that would include that this cool looking cute guy and and Iris, right? Yeah. 
Th I'll this, take... this guy is dead. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh. You can see but... two of Shardo's arrows sticking out of his chest. Okay, you you tar you said this guy, I could see this guy, and I assumed he was alive. Uh, no, no, he's dead. You, you so see... I only see this one that's alive. Right. If they have a symbol on them, they're dead. A oh. Oh, the little face. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Uh, Let me make sure this is on a bone. Okay, it's not. So, I'm a cast because I haven't done it yet, and I, I kind of want to see. I'm a cast. Wither and bloom. Okay. Oh, what? Ooh. Wither and bloom. It's my new spell. It's a new spell. I've heard Hit of that spell. Hit the button. Yeah, hang on. I'm trying to figure out which level to cast it at. It doesn't, like, tell you the the dice. Like, how many. Uh, I'm checking. You, uh, whatever. Whatever, I don't even care. Whatever. I don't even give a crap. I don't even care. What level spell is it? It's like second level, but you can cast it at higher, and I was like debating. Oh, there it is. Uh, at higher level, I think damage, it in adds damage increases by 1d6 for each spot above second, and the number of hit dice that can be spent and added to the healing roll increases by one for each slot above second. Huh. I'm debating on if, uh, if it's like worth a, a third level. You know, is it second level, third level? Hmm. Whatever, you know what? I'm going to do third level. I don't even care. Oh! Huh. Uh, now, see, that looks bigger. <laughs> but that's the template it gave me. 10 foot radius? Mm hmm. That would be a 10 foot radius. Yeah, because I guess it's not counting those those outer squares. Don't, I don't, yeah, but it's weird. I don't. So many. I, I don't know. So many people play on grids that I wish they would just squares on a. Yeah, it's a little, a little dumb. Okay, anyway, um, Mustella is going to cause everything in this aura here. I'm trying to remember what it is. It's like, yeah, all the vegetation, anything. I don't think there's anything alive here or it would die, right. but it's going to wither away the kobold. Okay, uh, so he has to make a con save. I believe that so. he has 16. There we go. Pew! Nine. He fails. So he take some dumb. Take and ten. Oh. Okay. So he dies. Your, your energy is... Uh, like sucks all the the life out of him and shrivel up down at the end of the thing. It looks like he ages like a hundred years in a split second. And then oh. Sea Star nice. can spend a hit dice to regain some hit points equal to that roll plus my spell cast modifier. Ooh. What magic is this? It like sucks the life out of the kobold and gives it to Sea Star. Use it to what hire. are you? <laughs> it's just a strict saving spell. That's cool. <laughs> you are great. Is there a button for me to push on that? I guess not, huh? Well, what does a monk hit die? D8? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> is it in your character sheet? I think. Maybe I so. believe it is a D8. Yeah, it's a D8. So just um, in the dice tray at the bottom, just roll a D8. <laughs> or and then was it plus something? Yes, plus five. Plus five. Can I do that or is that going to do? 
hit the D8 once and then hit the plus five times. Oh, actually, she can use more than that, too, if she wants to. I just realized when it's cast at higher levels, I cast it at three. The number of hit dice can, can be spent added to the healing roll increases by one. So you can actually do it again, too, if you want. Oh, let me see. Okay, I'll do it again. So Iris would be at five or seven. Thanks, <laughs> She's still bumbling around in that net. <laughs> I feel better though. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's a fun spell. Damage and heals. Anything else for you, Mostella? Um, I don't see anything else, so I think I'm gonna wait. I don't think I can move or anything, so. Okay, then Cardo's turn. Going to move in. Move up here. Hey. And bonus action, Hunter's Mark, the one. No, that one's dead. I don't see any, correct? Uh, you do not. I don't know. Charter, there's a mean one down the hallway! The one that laughed at you? It was very rude. <laughs> oh. mm. I'll bonus action hide. Go, go ahead and, uh... Hide yourself. Patch your kids. Patch your blabs. No, there's, you don't have to roll for it. There's get the hide the stealth condition. Uh, buckle tick. I think Nick Nick goes before me. Wanted to dash after I got done hiding. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. That guy see me. Uh, are hidden right now, but you make a dex check, please, or dex uh, save. Okay, you're good. All right, I'm done. So yeah, you you run over. There's this up. Uh, there's Iris. Got her, her dick arms out. I imagine when she's tied up, her dick arms are like sagging and just sitting on the floor, like weird little balloon, like uh, deflated balloons. Um, <laughs> you know, like they're partially deflated, look like uh, pool noodles. <laughs> <laughs> pool noodles. Like sad pool noodles just resting on the ground. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, Shardo goes and springs over all these dead bodies and crates that are over here. And then, yeah, it's a uh, next turn. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Just this hallway of carnage. <laughs> Here we was. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get him, small one. Get him. Oh my uh, god. Get our shinies. <laughs> uh, I will. No, I'm not going to dash. I'm going to look for any more traps. So, um, investigation? Yeah. So you, you, can, you can look out to, like, uh, to try to, try to spot anything. Okay. Uh, 15? Oh, that looks good. I don't see any more traps, but be careful! Remember, on your turn, uh, checks that you want to do will be in action. Checks that I force you to do are not. Right. Okay. Uh, is that it then? That's it. Okie dokie. Hey, a buckle tip. Don't see any more traps! 
<laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, okay, so... Turn into Sean Connery. <laughs> well, let's see where we go. All right. Uh, oh, Spunky. <laughs> oh, oh, Punky. 10, 10, 20, 25, 30. And, uh... Hmm. <laughs> I don't think... Wait, okay, so do I see, uh, do I see, oh god, all the kobolds in this area that I can see are dead, right? I, uh, yes. Okay. Um, so do I see, like, the little bolo thing that's kind of wrapped around, yep. uh, uh, Iris? Can I, uh, can I attempt to use my action as a, a mage hand to try to help undo it? Um, I don't think you. So. That might be an arcane trickster thing. Oh. Yeah. I don't think you can oh. do a whole lot of like flex stuff with the, the mage hand. Oh. Um, hmm. Manipulate an object. Uh, trying to undo it, I think, is going to be a little bit much for the mate. It essentially looks like you can okay. turn things, like you can unlock it, you can open a container, you can pour a vial. Um, but yeah, to, to like try to undo this bullet that's wrapped around her, I think would be... Alrighty. Uh, I'm just going to use the dash action. Blah, blah. Dash action and uh, bend. Oh, Dick, there's and a mean just... one down there. Eh. And I'll stop right there. And that'll be my turn. Wait. Eh. Hmm. Well, there's nothing really to hide as a bonus action. So, never mind. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be it. Under oh, I. Uh, He's under a no, dead body I, I, next I, to me. My bad. <laughs> okay. Didn't we do? <laughs> yeah. Unless if I could hide behind a dead body. There we go. Okay. Uh, buckle takes then. Yeah. This isn't there. Uh, Iris, on your turn. Things up, I think. So he was the new sticks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't really do anything outside. Um, Iris, at the beginning of your turn, you take 2d6 lightning damage. Oh. Whoa. Uh, 11 lightning damage from the bolas. You guys that are around Iris can see you. She's like kind of struggling to get out of this thing and it just zaps her. <laughs> you can see a lightning arc over her. I'm not sure that popped up. Oh well. Uh, so you take your, your 11 damage. Uh, and you fall prone. Oh, it was like a taser. Yep. <gasps> Matthew oh. did it. <laughs> I approve of this. Oh my Andy. god! Please do it again. You see her just <laughs> she she gets shocked and then just tips over. Um, <gasps> it's like my butt scratcher. <laughs> so you can try to break out of this while you're restrained. Okay. With a D thirteen acrobatics. Acrobatics or strength. <laughs> A athletics or uh, acrobatics. There we go. Acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So if you get shocked and fall over, you're able to like <laughs> worm your way out of it. <laughs> your, her her gray <laughs> white hair is just standing up all over the place. <laughs> I would like to use half my movement to get up. Yeah. She 
still faster than ever. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like that she's all sing-songy on her way to murder. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Iris. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> another uh, deck save. Oh my goodness. Start this save. Yep. Ooh. I have 15? to get in this cave and follow uh, Iris around everywhere. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so you hear another soft click and you're able to <laughs> jump out of the way as another net goes flying up towards the ceiling. <laughs> you can continue yes. on your way now. <laughs> you're so rude! You rude! And Die, intruder! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I am going to love it. Kill use. him. Do it. I'll do it. Yeah. 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 I'm going to slay him. I didn't use like an action to get out of that net, right? Yeah, that was. Oh, it was an action? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the yards God. are getting a little distracting. <laughs> you like all the yards? Well, I like them. Yeah. And I can't do the flurry of blows because I can't. Wait, can I? Let me look. Yeah, I haven't done an attack action. Okay, that's. A little stutter thing. Kind of mean. Oh, the taser. Oh, I didn't get to use that one. All right, I'm just going to angrily pick my nose and stare at him. No, wait, that's Cradle. I'm going to scratch my ass and stare at him. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> which gross thing does which character do? Yeah. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... So we'll be back up to the top here. And given time and where we're at, I think we're going to stop this combat right here. <gasps> uh, everyone watching the video can see what's coming up. So this is actually a pretty decent spot to stop for now. Hmm. And we will pick back up here right at the next time chat gets a or chat. The viewers get a, a little sneak peek as to what you mean. I can't see. What is it? Yeah, you'll have to find out. But yeah, crashed. it's <laughs> another character James drew months ago. No, it's not actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have been sitting on we was for a little bit. Uh, he's great. You guys know what he's from I... by chance? Not no. from really, but based on. Uh. <laughs> Look at his art again. There's little hints. There's little hints all over. James did an awesome job on it. Oh! Oh! The rhino and the pig from uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. Rock, rock and then <laughs> the spreader oh, thing and yeah. the turtle shell. Yeah. 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 A little pig face. Bebop and Rocksteady all in one. Nice. James did an awesome job. With my, He's got my feet. My dumbass uh, description of what this thing was supposed to be. <laughs> it's awesome. I like him. It was a even, very interesting description. It's not dumb. <laughs> you even put the rhino horn as like a knee pad and I love it. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, there's a lot awesome. of little details in there. So the, uh, the sword is uh, Bebop's uh, chainsaw that he uses in the, uh, the comics a lot lately. And the mall would be the sledgehammer that rocks that he used to smash Donatello. That's not cool. It's okay. But it's not. That and also, that and also the little wink being like, fuck them titles. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, I think Bob that actually has those. One of them has like turtle shell pauldron. So, yeah, James, James did a fucking awesome job on this. Thank you, James. James. Yeah, it was and very good. Fun. But, yeah, 
All right, with that, um, <clears throat> we're going to jump off and uh, pick back up here next session. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. I thought I turned this off. There we go. Now it's off. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, keeping up with the campaign. If you're new, thanks for checking it out. Um, let us know what you think about this, what you think of the map. It was made in uh, Dungeon Alchemist for fun program to use. And I'll be building pretty much all of my maps in from here on out. Um, make sure you check out the, the link for the Twitch channel. Um, you get to help us make some maps in Dungeon Alchemist. I'm always encouraging chat to throw out their ideas and prompts for any builds while you're there. Um, come hang out. Yeah, just come hang out. Um, Melissa's usually in there under General Tampon. Uh, she <laughs> hangs out in chat and says a bunch of gross things that you know, kind of <laughs> disgust everyone. Um, or make them laugh. It's entertaining. It's fun. I have fun with chat. <laughs> you know, come hang out with us. And again, if you want to see one of our, our or not one of our, but our first live stream game, um, you have to follow us on Twitch. And make sure you don't miss out on the launch of that. And um, yeah, uh, also the link for the store. Go check out the shop and get some stickers or shirts or hoodies, uh, anything in there. But I think that's it. That's that's everything. I'm yep. so excited. Thanks for hanging out yeah. with us. Just can't hide. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everybody. And Thanks. adios. Tootaloo, you sexy piece. Farewell. <laughs> what? <laughs>